Sorry to barge in on you. Oh, looks like you've already started. Oh, I can talk to her now. <laughs> I just hacked into her. 2B, can you hear me? I'm starting your boot sequence. First, you'll want to check your brightness settings. Do be you gonna you gonna do anything? Oh, you know what? What if it takes as long as it took me? <laughs> right then, let's get started. That'd be funny. We'll go through each adjustment in order. Let's start by getting the brightness set. Uh, nope, yep, we're, 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 we're gonna keep going forward and back. That's really funny. That's a fun way to connect back to when we first started the playthrough. Okay, how does this look? Roger that. Oh, and I should probably let you know that this entire process is being recorded for posterity. Yeah, it is. Now let's take a look at your voice recognition settings. Seems your voice recognition is set to mute, which isn't going to work. I'm going to call out to you now. Make sure you can hear my voice. Ma'am, are you there? Can you hear me? Uh, hello? Go ahead and adjust your settings so you can hear me, all right? All right, are we good now? <laughs> it's, it's even going to take the hesitation of actions. Oh my god. I should have fucked with 9S. Oh, if I had uh, known that, I could have messed you. with myself in the future. Anyway, that takes care of the settings. I would have done that. <laughs> what the heck? My pulse rate is rising. <laughs> hmm. It seems to be back to normal now. How odd. Uh, hold on. Your self-destruct permissions are missing. Wait a sec. We need to restore those. I never use the self-destruct, though. I could set it for you, but you should probably do it yourself. Regulations and all, you know. Okay, we're sitting here considering, like, uh, do I want to self-destruct? Okay, we'll turn good. it on just for the hell of it. If things go wrong during an op, you may have to sacrifice yourself in order to finish it. So, once you're finished making adjustments, you can go ahead and close this out. <laughs> I don't even know what I was saying during this time. I just kind of looked at a bunch of stuff. For the hell of it, right? <sighs> Oh, I see you've turned vibration detection on. Let's run a check to make sure it's working. I'm gonna tap you on the shoulders, all right? Do I get to feel that? How was that? I do, hey. Did you feel it? Okay, check complete. <laughs> You're not allowed to change the language. You can only do it from the main menu. Although it would be funny if there was like an in-game way to explain why the voices change. Like it's a perception thing. Morning. Nine S. The commanders put me in charge of your maintenance, ma'am. That means I'll be performing regular checks on you from now on. <laughs> go, Pod, go! Oh, don't worry. We 9S models are the best around, you know. Though I suppose we're not exactly known for our modesty. 9S. Hmm? What is it, ma'am? Stop calling me ma'am. Huh? There's no need to be so formal. Uh, all right. If you say so. Oh, I almost forgot. The commander was calling for you. We better go see what's up, man. Er, 2B. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's, uh, let's get a move on. Okay, so, something up? I can change her combats now. <gasps> oh. Well, I was pretty aggressive doing things, so we'll set her to aggressive. Although there are also some enemies that you might want to be passive around, so we'll be balanced for a while. <sighs> Oh, we got ourselves another email. You need to be near an access point to save your data. You can see access points on the close range map. Be sure to save often. Here's the uh the dredge up part of the game. <laughs> or of the repeat. 
We have to replay through all the tutorial bits as well. But from a different perspective. At level 34 when we already know everything. Alright, we're not talking to everybody again. I don't want to do it. Although there could be new dialogue that's only different because other things- Oh, the box is already taken. Shit. So, I can't get repeat items from repeat playthroughs. I see. The operators try hard to explain everything, but I'm still so confused. I just hope I don't get in anyone's way. Okay, so their dialogue is back to the beginning. You were fantastic in the battle the other day. I'm looking forward to seeing what you do next. Her stuff is the same. Okay. Only the commander can approve communications to the Council of Humanity. Yeah, about that. When are they gonna come back into the story? We don't know! Whoops, I've broken the screen! What if I self-destructed here? That'd be fun. Ah, 2B. Maintenance finished? Yes, Commander. You detonated your black box in order to defeat the enemy. Bold, but risky. Try not to be so reckless next time. Understood. I know you're fresh out of maintenance, but I have another mission for you. I need you to head to the surface, rendezvous with the Resistance, and do some recon. Doesn't Yorha have a dedicated Resistance contact already? We haven't been able to get in touch with them, so we'll need you to look into that as well. Understood. Alright, let's get on out of here. No need to completely repeat absolutely every single piece of dialogue. I'll probably end up doing certain missions. That means we'll be getting flight units, huh? Better head for the hangar. <laughs> Usually we can't get near flight units. They're way too expensive for us grunts. Too bad they can't mass produce these things yet. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it. At every opportunity they can get, they throw out like 10 or 15 of them. I'm gonna miss fast traveling. Although, maybe we'll have fast travel immediately. Oh, right now I'm gonna be the black flight units. Why do you think they sent a combat model like you to a recon job? If all they want is intel, we scanner models are built for that kind of thing. Orders are orders. Alright, alright. Yes, run straight into my bullets! I like how passive she is as a flight unit. Yes! Shoot forward into absolutely nothing. <laughs> Tubi, you're going to have some new weaponry installed from here on out. I'll put up instructions for you. Make sure to commit them to memory. Roger. It'd actually be pretty cool if she uh, gave us legitimately new things. Oh, shit! Your pods can affect the flight units too! This was not expected. The missiles stay the same, though. Cool. So I guess that means our pods are the ones that are shooting for our flight units. I didn't really think about that. I figured the weapons were just built in. But that does explain why the pods bother to lock themselves into the, the flight units. Like this if they're from Star Wars or something. Here, have some missiles in point blank range. <laughs> Bunker to 2B, come in. I've set a landing point for your flight units. You'll be touching down quite a ways from the resistance camp, unfortunately. Sorry for the trouble, but we can't risk the enemy discovering their position. Understood. Good luck down there. It's actually going to be really fun watching 2B not be as effective at combat. And just spamming the ever-loving hell out of every single ability she can. It's all on me now. Ugh, we have some ways to learn, though. Because we don't have access to everything! Because we can- our Y is a hack function. But I can still swap out my weapon sets. 
And that can act as if uh, we're doing different things. Look at that, holy shit. That thrown weapon range. Okay. This will be fun. Can I, uh, do I have items still? <laughs> can I put a bo b blue bow in my hair? Hold on. This is a key, key question. Blue ribbon. Alright! Yeah. Target location acquired. Marking on map. Proposal. Proceed to target location. Okay. Well, I have no interest in uh, dealing with the enemies inside. Although there are hackable things in the building. Oh, so many chests to get. Some I won't remember, some I will. But I remember this one. It's hard to forget. It's right at the bottom of the stairs. Or the ladder, really. Anytime I want to open these boxes, I have to hack them. Ooh, hello. They just gave me a ton of items for that. Or like pristine items. Awesome, okay. I mean, I'm gonna need them considering things. I need to be able to craft and upgrade my gear because that would be good. Actually, speaking of which, I could probably, uh, hold on. Weapons? We can equip the virtuous contract and upgrade my damage just a little bit. Yeah, so even even if uh, we're using the same weapon sets as beforehand, the fact that we're, we're using it as 9S does completely change up how it goes. Got you. Okay. I wonder if there are going to be a bunch more enemies out here now. Look, see? There are boars here from the beginning. Hmm. According to our intel, none of the machines in this area are hostile. We've been seeing more and more enemies like this lately. They just stand there and stare into space. It's pretty weird. It's almost like they're talking, or like, like this guy's preaching on a soapbox. Those damn androids keep killing all of our friends, but all we want to do is be peaceful! Yeah, you tell it, man! <laughs> I say we speak not with our actions, but with our words! That's how speaking works, yeah! So we will stand around this rock, and they will hear us say everything we possibly can. And one day, the androids and the machines will live side by side in peace! Oh no! Who could have seen this coming? Uh, durable, aren't you? Let's see if that'll happen when I hack you! It just immediately detonates. So I suppose, I suppose the harder the enemies, the harder the hack. And as these guys are incredibly basic, they basically have the, the very beginner hack mission. Yeah, I'm not dealing with that. Although, I probably should head back that way. God, the copper ore, shit. I'm just gonna sell like 20 copper ore. Paper attached to vehicle. Say what? This isn't a cool item, this is an archive item. Old world information. Traffic violation notice. License custody certificate. Number my A4321. Date and time of notification? July 21st, 2013? Affiliation rank and name of notifier, Mahama Police Station, Police Constable Kenichi Saito. Or Sato. Issued to Yosuke Saito. Violation details exceeding the speed limit by 30 kilometers to 35 kilometers. Okay, that's a that's a pretty heavy amount. But 2013. Old what world the fuck? data, huh? Well, we couldn't get access to this stuff beforehand. Oh right, I couldn't pick it up. Oh, do I not have programs? Hold up. Oh, they're not equipped. I see. All right, that works. It's gonna be fun when she's looking for me. 
And she's gonna be like, I don't have a scanner, and I'm sitting here with, I have the scanner from last time. I'm still waiting for them to have, like, an in-game moment to explain why, uh... Why we still have all of our stuff. Like, obviously, as a player, we understand. New Game Plus! Get all our stuff, keep our same levels and everything. But... There could be an in-game explanation. Oh, I never got this. Such as, uh... Cycles of life and things like that. Maybe we're all just in one big simulation of the aliens. To see how long it would take for them to clear out the humans. And what would happen when they attacked us. Maybe something along those lines. But we're gonna head over here first. Because I want me some items. It's, it's kind of funny. So, if you die before you get this stuff, it doesn't disappear. So it's like the only real instance in the game where, uh, dying in between deaths doesn't actually apply. Okay, the items aren't here. So either that's just because we picked up the items already in our last playthrough, or the items don't spawn until we hear the rumor about them spawning. Could be something like that. Okay, well let's get out of here then. Do I still have all my recovery items? Hey, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do. We'll never have to worry about death. I mean, besides the times we get, like, one-shotted. Which might happen. The bosses are higher levels now. They might have more attacks. We didn't really see anything with the Goliath, but we didn't really actually fight the Goliath class. Or, I guess... Engels? Engels or Angels? I'm not exactly sure uh, which pronunciation. I, I, I'd say... I think it's angles. I just have a feeling about that. So we have the angles class. Do we have the names of everything else, actually? Oh, look at that. Marks, angles, Adam, Eve. Simone? Simon? Goliath Flyer, Groon! <laughs> Emmanuel, Ernst, Kierkegaard, Soshi, Bokushi. Huh. That's really weird. So, all, all <laughs> a lot of these machines have uh, more human sounding names. Of obviously, there are some backgrounds for these to take and consider. I don't know if Groon is a reference to anything, or if that's just a made-up name for the giant robot by the aliens themselves, because technically, yeah, he probably would have come from before. He was a machine actually designed by the aliens, rather than just a machine coming out from afterwards. I feel like that's a distinction to make. Like, uh, machines made after the aliens have different names and different wants for the world than the ones beforehand, which are crazy and just want to destroy everything. Although, I don't know, we didn't really meet too many machines claiming to be, like, thousands of years old from the very beginning of the war. So, uh, yeah, I don't know about that. Oh. They wish to, they wish to be hostile! How dare you! You brought this upon yourselves! I may... I'm not sure what I was gonna say here. I may need to do something. I may need to try some fishing, I think. Because maybe things have changed in the water, too. <laughs> the world has, of fishing has evolved. 10,000 years in the future. The machines have perfectly integrated. Motherfucking copper. Uh, uh, yes. Commencing fishing. Oh, my, my pods. Lady. 
I thought that was just the, uh, the operator. That's funny. Alright. We have contrasting pod genders. Alright, come on, give me something cool. Uh, I did see something that said that... Getting pod B is a little on the RNG side. So I was fishing in, in the right area, the ruined cities, or the flooded city. I just wasn't lucky enough to get it on my first couple of tries at the sea. But if I had been more diligent and more persistent, we would have been able to do it. Well, that's a, that's a good 10 to 15 hours away now, so, oh well, no pod B for us for now. I can still fish. Catch confirmed. Okay, when I'm getting like tiny fishes, that makes me go, meh. Complete. I'm trying to think of moments where we're separated from, uh, 2B often. There aren't really that many moments until, like, later on. Way later on. Then we're not with her until, like, the very so last this is battle. the resistance camp, huh? We should probably go talk to their leader first thing. But what if I want to buy stuff from you guys? You still need to talk to our commander first? Uh, fine, whatever. Hello. You're... number two. Hmm? You know about 2B? Um, yes, well, the Bunker told me to expect you. My name is Anemone. I'm the leader of the Android Resistance that controls most of this territory. You must be the new scouts we heard about. Well, I'm sure my people will have plenty of information for you. Please, feel free to ask them anything you like. Hmm. I wonder when she says number two, she might have been thinking of... Anemone. All right, we've already read through this stuff beforehand. Uh, although he actually opens the shop immediately, so maybe his stuff has changed. Oh no, there you go. All right, he can only do it if we get the spare materials for him. All right. Well, I already have some of the uh, some of the items for okay. him, right? That's everything the supply trader asked for. So I can just. Give him the stuff immediately. Man, these chores are a real pain in the butt, huh? The Resistance is a valuable ally to your hub. By helping them, we also help ourselves. So no, I don't think they're a pain. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're just to do things. What are you worried about? Uh, nothing. I was hoping she might say something about the second world, the second saves. Okay, this guy deals in weapons. <laughs> We'll help you out, buddy. We have all the parts for it. If I can't get that servicing device repaired, I won't be long for this line of work. Yeah, all right. I guess I don't have the parts for him. I'm not gonna go through the dialogue of some of these guys, just because I know that they probably don't have anything new to say. Okay, well, with that out of the way, let me... Whoops. I'm gonna fuse some items, because uh, we ended the game off with a whole slew of things. Anything new? Not really. Although I could buy some of these... upgrades for ourselves. Hammer, blade, the shields. I might actually need these. Buy all the programs. There you go. You're welcome. You're rich. All right. Anyways, let's. Uh, I'm gonna go through and fuse some things. Namely, I'm looking to upgrade my auto heal stuff because we should have a ton of those, which means we should be able to get an auto heal plus three that doesn't take up 21 slots. Okay. I went through and upgraded a, quite a few of my chips. I won't go through the exact, exact details because I've kind of forgotten them, but here's all the stuff I have equipped. You can see that this particular time around I have a little bit more... Uh, well, I have one more attack thing. It's the critical up because I realized, huh, I wonder if the critical rate is zero without one of these equipped. And I had five slots left over after equipping everything else that I wanted, so I figured, you know what? Fine, we'll go for that. 
For everything else, eh, it's pretty much the same stuff that we had beforehand. Some of these have been upgraded, uh, and some of these have slight, slightly lower usage versions of themselves in here. I don't, I don't remember exactly which ones there are, but yeah. And then we have Overclock, which I, I realized we have a diamond one, and so I was like, oh, well, that takes up five slots as well. It's only a, it's a very small amount, so... Uh, now, anytime I dodge, the game will go in slow motion, and I can capitalize that and do more damage on them before they're capable of retaliating. But, okay. Let's go get some help. Also, yay! Now I get like two to three. No, I get 3% of my HP a second. This must have been quite a city once upon a time. Too bad vegetation's claimed most of it now. Oh, you know what? I don't think I have evade range. Operator 210 to 9S. This is your regularly scheduled contact. This is 9S. Nothing to report. Weather's sure nice today, though. Nothing to report. Copy that. And no need for a weather report. Operator 210 out. <laughs> Well, uh, if my operator was so formal all the time, operator. Oh, I kind of like that about you. If we were talking to six O, she'd love a weather report. Huh. Okay, hold up. Did I not equip evade range up, or did I have multiple evade ranges up beforehand? Because now we don't go nearly as far, and that saddens me. I wish we had more things to read up on, though. It'd also be nice if my storage capacity could be increased more, but I think the, uh... I think the general consensus for the game... This is the place that weapons trader was talking about. Uh-oh. I'm picking up hostile machine life forms. I think the consensus for the game is... That, uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm just getting fucking distracted with this battle. And I was also confused why, when we dodged, the screen was like partially black and white, desaturated, but not really. Fuck, I've lost my place now. Oh, right. The point of getting, uh, you're not supposed to get more slots. You're supposed to optimize your weapons to be the most efficient version they could possibly be. And the most efficient version they can possibly be is the diamond version of the plug-in chips. There we go. That's what I wanted to say. So that means that what I'm supposed to do, at least what I think I'm supposed to do, is actually gather as many diamond chips as I can. And instead of having stuff taking up like 15 slots at plus level 6, it instead takes like 7 to 8 slots plus 6. That's how you become the most awesome android in the world. By optimizing as much as possible. Alright. We can do that. I also sold some of my copper rewards so we can actually start picking them up again. I didn't sell too many, I only sold like 20, but uh, yeah. I think for the hell of it, I might just upgrade all the weapons I have. If I have the resources for it, like in excess amount. Maybe go in and change things up a little bit. So I can be like, yeah, what's up? All right. Here's my lance. It doesn't suck in comparison to everything else because I have it upgraded. But we'll see. Also, fuck. I just realized we're not going to be able to do level four upgrades until uh, way later on to the game. I really, really am. I'm going to be permanently salty about that until, like, we finally reach everything. Having to play the entire game Let's again. Let's back to the trader. To get access to the end game stuff that I forgot to do is, most is annoying. Central area. Big plants too. Report. Records show that vegetation has grown to an abnormal size since the departure of humans. Hmm. Wonder if there are any huge boars and such too. We've already seen the huge boars because this time around it isn't just Mooseville. Oh, it's fun to think that the boars came in because more shit happened in the main story. Like, they had senses about things and just decided to move in. Just because. So apparently we only have... 
50% of the uh, the pod programs in the game, even after buying pretty much everything from that shop. So I'm curious as to what other programs we're missing and where the hell we find them. But let's try some of them out. Okay. Skills, programs, we'll go for... Hammer and blade. Maybe this stuff will super help me out. Double hammer time! Kablam! Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Alright, that works. Double blade time? Huh? No? Alright. Oh, okay, I see how that works. Whoops. That was an accident. I'm gonna fucking accidentally hack so many things in this game. Oh my gosh. Alright. So, this just kind of swings around you and gives you a little bit of extra defense. Although against a boss, I can see that giving us some pretty decent DPS because the boss wouldn't be repelled by my blade swinging around myself. But okay, that one's not so amazing. Still, I like double hammer time. Can my double hammer time kill a boar on instant combat or contact? Let's find out. Ow. Oh, I couldn't split down because both my things were charging right. Oh. Quadrupeds. Ready. Right. I think one of them missed, honestly. Can I hack into a boar? Damn it, you can't hack into animals. But what if they had actually been secretly machine animals this entire time? That could have happened. Uh. Alright, let's head back to the resistance camp.